Okay, people, this is easily the most important moment in Pokemon anime and the franchise's history as a whole that I thought still we wouldn't see for maybe another half a decade to a decade, to be honest with you. In fact, I thought there was a possibility we'd never see this moment, but it is actually freaking happening after we just got the big news a few weeks back that Ash won the championship. Essentially, Ash is a Pokemon master now. I initially didn't even realize that this this tournament was just that it was essentially champions of champions going up against each other and since ash won that his dream is now technically complete at the very least according to the people high up because pokemon is officially coming to an end as you know it if you knew ash ketchum with his lovable and iconic pikachu it's over i i can't even but wow dog like i've been here damn near from the beginning back when it first started coming to the west and like i want to say maybe like 97 ish 98 ish i've been with pokemon riding when tracy took over for the orange islands i was here with pokemon throughout all of the phases i mean the last few years i haven't been as invested but i always return just to see oh well what what's going on in the latest edition of pokemon and it's absurd to think that yo dog it actually happened considering a lot of us have joked for so many years that hey ash is still 10 years old like this is crazy this is bananas let's freaking read but ash ketchum and pikachu will no longer be on their journey it is officially coming to an end but pokemon is still going and we got some newbies incoming let's read new pokemon anime with new dual protagonists to debut in april 2023 the Pokemon Company revealed a new Pokemon animated series on Friday. The series will follow completely different new dual protagonists who are named Liko and Roy in the Japanese version of the series. And we got a trailer that has a whole bunch of Pikachu. We got Ash on top of a Gyarados, I think. Ash running. Oh, so it's like a tribute, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. And now for a major announcement. The future of Pokemon unfolds. This is like sad and exciting at the same time and important. No, look, Ash back in the days. God, it's over. It's crazy. Now that you become the champion, how close are you to becoming a Pokemon master? Ash is like, huh? Misty! Brook! Brock, yo. Why is it broke like that? Brook. Ah, uh, the final chapter in Ash and Pikachu story. Wow, 11 episodes to start airing Friday, January 13th in Japan. So there's one final arc before this new anime. So essentially we're getting 11 episodes of Ash's final journey and then we're going to this new one. Wow, I wouldn't mind watching that 11 episode journey. That sounds like every Pokemon fan that's ever watched the anime and enjoyed and loved it should watch these 11 episodes. The series will premiere in April 2023 in Japan and the Pokemon company stated in its English press release that the anime will premiere in 2023 and beyond. The anime will feature Sprigatito, Fuecoco and Quaxley from the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video games and will also feature the legendary Pokemon Rayquaza in its shiny form. The anime will debut after Pokemon Ultimate Journeys, the series. The company also announced it's producing a collection of 11 special episodes to conclude the Pokemon Ultimate Journeys. So that's probably going to be where Ash becomes a Pokemon Master. Like right there is where what Gary was referencing of being, a, you know, how close are you? these episodes is going to be wrapping that whole idea up the series anime that will celebrate oh my god we're gonna see ash's father i bet the series anime that will celebrate ash's adventures spanning 25 seasons the company stated that the episodes will feature fan favorite characters such as misty and brock and will provide a glimpse into what the future holds in this final chapter for ash and pikachu so we might actually see adults or time skip ash and maybe even raichu well no i don't think he'll ever go to raichu but pikachu as a badass or god knows Maybe we'll see a broken down Ash without Pikachu or something like who knows now. Nah, they're not gonna do that The episodes will premiere in Japan on January 13th and the concluding anime in Japanese is titled Pokemonsta Mezase Pokemon Monster aiming to be a Pokemon 
master. Wow. And the last anime was Pokemon Journeys. I literally can't even believe all of this right now, dog. 25 years they're coming to an end with that. I'm surprised because considering Pikachu has been the mascot, is it that they're deciding for a new branding? Is this just going to be a test? Like, who knows, right? If they're going to do this 11 episode journey and then give a hint into what the future holds for Ash and stuff like that, maybe we'll get like a little tease of like Ash as an adult or Ash as a teenager and we'll have this new anime. It'll run its course and people will beg like, yo, please, we want to see that new Ash and maybe they'll bring Ash back in a new journey as like Pokemon Masters or maybe they'll bring him back as like an ultimate, you know what I'm saying, champion that the new protagonists go up against. I don't know, but it's going to be a dual protagonist, so that's going to be interesting. Like, is it going to be two people trying to become Pokemon Masters or are they trying to be like the best tag team masters of all time like how's that gonna work either way wow man i could shed a tear i could shed a tear if there wasn't also that side of me that's like yo dog it's been time for ash to go fam even 10 years for 100 million years the fact that they're doing it though is shocking because i i really thought that they just were gonna allow pokemon's entire existence to be occupied by ash and pikachu at the same time i'm gonna be sad like i wonder how people that they've been following for ash's journey seeing that this news is coming like are they done with pokemon or is there the possibility that with this new announcement ash's journey coming to an end this new pokemon might be ushering in a new wave of fandom maybe you know the zoomers are gonna look at this like hey there's no more of this old timer you know what i'm saying the old fart ash we got a new guy this is what i'm gonna occupy my you know what i'm saying fandom towards this new pokemon this is pokemon for me so that might be the case as well at the end of the day the pokemon anime has always been just one ongoing commercial until the next set of video games drop i mean essentially since its inception it started off as a video game pokemon and then and of course, you know, they got the anime after the fact. So, yeah, Pokemon is always primarily video games sell very well make the anime continue awareness of the actual pokemon and they might feel like ash ain't doing a good job for it anymore maybe they feel like he's not representing what pokemon is in 2022 or it might just be that fans are really sick of him and ratings for pokemon have been dropping dramatically i don't know that so don't quote that as a fact but could be ratings for pokemon have dropped so bad that they're like let's just do a rebrand and start off fresh and that might be the case let me know how you feel about this are you happy sad mixed on ash and pikachu finally going off into the sunset and concluding a 25 year journey that has left the main character 10 years old up until we'll see how things shape in the last 11 episodes and do you think at some given point we will see a return of ash after this new pokemon maybe the ratings will drop worse than ever and they'll be like bring ash back quickly and do you think that we're gonna see Ash as like a grown man or maybe, you know, just a young adult, 20 years old or something like that? Maybe we'll see Ash at the end of this journey as like, okay, he's the new champion and these kids have to train up so that they could eventually take on Ash down the road. And your overall thoughts of this, man? Again, I feel so mixed, dog. Like I got into Pokemon, I think I was like in second or third grade. And here I am all these years later, like, wow, Pokemon is... It's over. It's it's done. Crazy. Well, at the very least, Ash and Pikachu's journey, and we're never gonna forget them. Again, salute to Pokemon 25 years. Salute to Ash and Pikachu. I can't believe it, but Ash Ketchum is finally on the path to catching them all. Oh my god, are they gonna show that he caught every Pokemon? Like, how's that gonna work too? There's so much mystery, man. I really wanna watch these 11 episodes. I wish they would actually, like, strike a deal with Netflix to do simultaneous English dub releases of it. Like, I would love to see and have a nice marathon. That right there would be a big bag. Netflix, oh, oh, Disney, whoever, hit up the Pokemon company, see if y'all can get the rights to that. That'll be a big one. The final chapter of Ash and Pikachu. You could sell that easily. But for another world, and as always, people, have an awesome day. Um, Ash, Pikachu, thank you for a lifetime of memories. Seriously, man. Pokemon, it was one of the first anime that I ever got into without realizing it was anime. And it's been a hell of a ride. I'm so shocked, saddened, and at the same time, happy that I get to see Ash's journey come to an end finally. Wow. Have an awesome day. And Go out there and catch them all. I don't know. I can't think of a good catchphrase from Pokemon right now. Uh, yeah, he's going to be the very best. There you go. Have an awesome one.